channel thank you so much for joining me i'm christy and if you're new to my channel and you didn't know me well too bad now you know me and we're friends and you're gonna see me every week because i upload every week and you're gonna be one of my new subscribers right yeah <laughs> Anyway, so I upload every week and today I have a DIY project. I just made this decorative meter container uh, which I actually saw in um, Ross and TJ Maxx for like somewhere like 10 to 25 dollars. Uh, I uh, already have one actually. So guys, this is the container I got from Ross I believe. I used to use it for my perfume collection and now I'm going to use this one for my sunglass collection and I'm going to use the one that I just made for my perfume collection instead because this one is round and this one is more for sunglasses to me personally I don't know so um, I just wanted to share this DIY with you guys because I like being organized for my daily things uh, it's not an OCD it's just a need uh, so I know my perfumes are there my sunglasses are there and all these things but I don't have to have ugly organizers and these things don't come cheap to look pretty you have to invest if you don't have the money to invest then you can make it yourself just like I am doing with this one so I'm going to share step by step how did I do this with you guys in a bit so let me start uh, by telling you guys this one is very affordable I used only three dollar worth of um, material from Dollar Tree um, the candle holder this one and the mirror and the gems which I still have like half of it left um, so that was just the three dollar and i used each six thousand glue you can use um any sort of glue that you like like super glue or glue gun and uh yeah i didn't count that in but if you count that in i would say let's say four dollars since i have the square one i want to make a round one i am very uh happy with the end result so let's say that it's four dollar including the glue but this one uh, that I got from Ross it was probably 10 to 15 dollars and in TJ Maxx I saw something similar to it it was even more expensive I mean even if it was 10 dollars 10 and 4 so I mean I don't really see much of a difference here both mirror and both does the same exact thing looks almost identical so I'm gonna share how you guys can do it very easily right now it takes almost less than half an hour to finish this project seriously so if you guys want to know how to make this decorative mirror container then please keep watching guys these are the items you will need you will need an e6000 glue or a glue gun whichever you prefer to use you will need this kind of gems from dollar tree um, this is a candle holder from dollar tree and obviously a mirror also you will need someone to watch over you i'm just kidding she's just here for the aesthetic and i love her thank you furry um she's marie from disney but um i call her furry and uh look at her tail all over also the last thing you'd need you'd need a tweezer now i am going to open the back slide up uh, using this tweezer it was really easy to open up We're using the tweezer it just came right off now i am going to glue this um with e6000 here so now i just spread some e6000 on the mirror and i am going to flip this onto this over here Ta -da. and now i'm just going to apply some pressure so that it's setting like a setting spray i'm kidding uh but you understand you get the memo now i'm going to spread some e6000 glue on the surface of the candle holder and then i'm going to put the mirror on the top of this thing to secure it. it wasn't as easy as i thought and plus i totally forgot to get this thing out so i'm gonna be stuck with this i guess forever uh but um yep i put it almost in the middle so i hope that will work <laughs> i've never done this before guys i'm so sorry uh i just go with it um if it doesn't work then i'm not gonna upload this video so if you're seeing this video it worked so thank you and uh, you're welcome now i'm going to cut a round circle using scissor now my trusty tragic looking e6000 glue is going to help me put all of these gems <laughs> being glued to the corners as a round 
so uh, I don't know if it's making any sense I am the worst person to describe anything here as you can see guys this is coming pretty okay and then I just touched this of stuff and glue which is okay and um, so one tip I do have for you guys that just spread the glue like this and then put the gems one by one this is easier to do than just putting glue on the gems one by one and as you can see this is really not tedious and then it's just taking just like two minutes and I'm almost done seriously and just like that this is done guys I am impressed with myself I can't believe that I did that but um, yeah I am not totally worth as I suppose so this was done but now I just thought that if I put like one on top <laughs> this is coming off okay but uh, I was just thinking like if I put a little bit of uh, one on top of another then this will look even better and I have so much left so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a bit unlike the first line how I showed you uh, you should just put the uh, E6000 glue first this one is kind of opposite you put the glue on this one first then you put it on here just because this is not the flat surface so it's not going to be um, the same trick I am skipping one in between and then going to the next one and then skipping one in between and then going to the next in between and that's how I am going to go over the entire circle and there is the finished product after one and a half layers of the accent gems or stones whatever you guys want to call it and it was under three dollars or four dollars I mean this is still not over so, so I cannot believe it that I made it uh, this pretty and um, with that little amount of money so yay i'm happy with this i hope you guys make it for yourself too so there you have it you guys that was how it was done and it was done within half an hour if not less the hardest part was to let it dry for overnight because i really wanted to use this as soon as i can really um it looks so cute and i just couldn't wait to oh now now i just like now i have to go and clean it because i'm using my hands all over this anyway so it looked so cute i couldn't wait to uh, decorate this with all of my perfumes and whatnot but you can leave this uh, on your sink for your uh, toothbrush holders and all those things or you can leave this for perfumes you can also use this as a jewelry holder for bracelets and uh, rings and certain things like that if you guys uh, want to make this in a uh, square form you can just like get a square mirror from dollar store or wherever and just make it just follow the same direction and you can do it hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up if you guys have any comments concerns or questions please feel free to leave it in the comment sections down below my snapchat and instagram is bristy frosty and my twitter is bristy sultana i will leave all of my links in the description section for you guys to follow me or join me in other social media platforms and i'm uploading every week almost two times so please keep tuning in and god knows what am i doing next i really don't know what am i going to upload uh, next time so maybe it will be a travel video and maybe it will be another funny video i'm not sure so so here's to adventure and guys please take care and i love you all bye take care <laughs>